Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is the first episode of Trading to 1 Million Coins. So it's really successful on FIFA 13 so I thought I'd bring it back for FIFA 14. And this is the start, it's of course the web app at the moment, the full game is not out. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a returning series. If you do want to see an episode a day, make sure you click that like button. If this gets 250 likes, I will upload another one tomorrow. But in the background you can see me, uh, I opened up my start pack of course and because you can't trade with them I decided you know I'm not. I'm just going to discard them all. Um, I could have kept them, I could have played some games but this is a silver account, I'm never going to get membership for it, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. Uh, and after that I decided to open up my loyalty packs. So as you can see in the the, uh, the background I've got like some decent uh, players in my first pack, mainly non-rare players, nothing that was going to sell for much more than the uh, quick sell price. But it was better than getting nothing basically, so I was happy that I got some loyalty packs. Um, so yeah, even though I do have a silver account, I've had it since like FIFA 12. Um, so I was happy that I got the two loyalty packs basically by having a silver account. I haven't paid for this account, I literally just traded on it. And in my second pack, as you can see there, I got an 83 rated Jekko. And he was he was decent. Uh, I expected him to go uh, for a decent amount, at least one or two thousand. And you'll see how much I sell him for in this uh, episode. But it looks to be someone that will probably rise in price a little bit um, as towards the end of the web app days and then probably go down a lot once the uh, the full game comes out. But I want to speak to you about uh, what to do with your coins at the moment because these questions are being thrown around and uh, there's no real definite answer and there isn't a definite answer from me but I want to give you a little bit of tips and tricks as to what to do. Uh, but as you can see there, Jekko, I was... Uh, I wasn't sure how much he went for, so I made sure I checked him out uh, from Man City and uh, went, went through all the search criteria and he looked like he went for about 2,500. So that's how much I listed him up for. And I carried on doing that for all of the other players as well. But don't worry, I don't do it for every single player. I'll make sure I cut it out soon and I uh, will progress, prog progress on with the rest of the video. Uh, but yeah, I think the best thing to do now uh, for investing your money on Ultimate Team it's, it's a very tricky situation, I mean you can trade, but it's so very minute, like if you want to trade, there's a player up for 2,000 coins, it sells for 2,000 coins, every single open bid will end at 1,800 minimum, it is almost impossible to uh, get a player for actually a good price to sell, um, you're only ever going to make like 50 to 150 or maybe a little bit more coins on each player, but it's virtually impossible, you're, you can spend hours looking for one good trade and it's sometimes not there so my advice to you would be to invest in possibly a team uh, it depends how much you have if you have 15k I'd say invest in a team get as many rare high rated players as you possibly can with your coins preferably BPL players or Brazilian players I find they they tend to go for well they, their prices rise quite a lot uh, the most but in the background I'll carry on speaking about that in a second in the background you can see I bought two Manuels, one was uh, I bought for by now of 1000 and that was really good, that's the only real good deal I've had I think um, and another one I bought for 1200 and I sold them both for about 13 or 1400, can't quite remember but you just saw it anyway on the screen uh, Mokinos I bought for 1200 there and I put them up for 1400, I think it does go for 1400, uh, we'll have to see in a second uh, but in this, in this game, this uh, sorry, this background here I found a player with 90 pace and he was silver and I was like yeah he's probably worth quite a bit. Checked him out and there was one going for 3,500 and his actual price was about 4,000 so I grabbed him straight away. Uh, when I say straight away I've actually been looking for that player for like hours trying to find uh, a good player to buy basically. Um, it's really hard to trade at the moment as I said. Uh, so getting back to the investing, what, what should you invest your players in? Um, as I said a full team would be ideal. Uh, if you can buy a whole team, wait at least three to five days. When you come back, if you if it costs 15k, the idea is it should be at least 20k. Um, hopefully a bit more, maybe 25k. That would be the best thing to do. If you if you just leave your coins in your bank, when you come back, players are going to be more expensive, and uh, your coins will be worth less basically. So uh, it's best to tie your money up in players. And the uh, the word for that is just investment. Just get rid of your coins into players keep those players in your transfer list or your club and then sell them at the right time basically. Um, but the technique I am using to make coins in the background as you can see is opening a load of bronze packs and 
it's a hard, hard uh, thing to explain really. It does work sometimes. Uh, it works most of the time, but sometimes it doesn't. I feel it's not that effective at the moment. But at the moment, sorry, because some of the items you get in your uh, packs, like bronze contracts and even shiny bronze contracts, won't sell for 200 or 150 uh, price. So it's not pointless, but um, you're gonna have to be very lucky to get something decent in that pack to actually sell on. Uh, but it's coming to the end of the video now, you're just seeing what I did sell from those bronze packs. Uh, I was just struggling to sell this Edda Louise guy, I listed, listed him a couple of times. And I didn't have a lot of coins actually as well, I was trying to find a, find a DRB there for uh, 800 coins and possibly sell him for about 950 to 1000 but I even didn't get, I couldn't even get that, I couldn't even get that deal. I spent ages just trying to get one of those deals. Edda Louise finally sold I think for 3800 so not that much profit made on him. But it was something at least. Um, and then here, as you can see, I've got about five and a half thousand coins. Got um, three players there still in my, uh, in my, I was going to say trade pod, my transfer list it's called now. Um, and I've seen what's happened to them. But I'm not going to tell you until next episode. So if you can remember to hit that like button, that'd be fantastic. If you're new, make sure you do subscribe to this channel. And I will be uploading, hopefully, daily trading tips for you guys for at least whilst the web app is out. So thank you guys for watching and listening and I'll catch you later. Bye. Playmaker and long shot taker trait, which is obviously why I play him in the middle there. Um, of midfield, of course. As I said, he does have 5 star skills, uh, 4 star weak foot, he is left footed and he has high attacking.